Well, a few weeks ago, I planted five mini dwarf apple trees. Let's see if I can find that. Now if you get through away. Oh here it is. Plant the following apple trees. Mini dwarf apple package. Which is a package of five mini dwarf apple trees. The apple trees that grow between four and six feet tall only. I planted them because I really wanted to have an apple orchard. I've stayed before that I've dreamed of having my own apple orchard. I figure that if I can't get out of this place, I'll just kind of basically uh, just plant an orchard here. <laughs> so research on the uh, various nurseries at uh, Rain Tree Nursery is where I got this one from. And basically, so um, I just had to buy a, a mini dwarf apple package, five different kind of apples, all row between four and six feet tall total. So I bought a mini dwarf apple package for they're all on M twenty seven rootstock, also called what's called uh Selma twenty seven. What's the M clone root twenty M clone, M27 clone rootstock. And so I planted Jonah Gold, Honeycrisp Apple, Red Buff Sock, Pristine Apple, and Green Sleeves Apple. So far they're doing pretty good. I watered them now and then. They're doing pretty good. I'm going to get some, uh, some topsoil, fertilizer and stuff, but uh, right now they're doing pretty good. But, um, I also planted some other stuff too, like five um, blue elderberry trees. Also planted some other stuff too, like uh, like huckleberry, soundberry, thimbleberry, and salalberry. But I just felt like talking about that. And also another thing I did is I got a uh, I found this loophole which you could get aquarium livestock for very cheap. It could be a food item, meant for food, meant for bait. Or to be to be fed to livestock. Like for example, you all know about the classic comet goldfish. That's a feeder goldfish. Those are called comet goldfish, but that's not what I'm talking about. Because those are often have fin rot and ick. But there is a thing I found that you buy um Fiddler crabs. You could buy clams, uh, freshwater clams. You could buy uh, crayfish. You could buy um, buy just about anything that either is food or bait, and just keep it in your aquarium, just the same as anything else. Of course, it takes a while to acclimate back into water, but it just works just like that. And I got myself a crayfish, and it do really well. I only paid thirty cents for it <laughs> compared to another twenty dollars with the another twenty another twenty dollars to uh, ship it. I just went down to a local Asian market, Oriental market, whatever you call it, and picked up and um, picked up a uh, went and bought a live. Crayfish, put in the, just got some feed, and put it in um, got some crayfish feed, and put it in the uh, um, put it in the aquarium. But um, well, I didn't put it all in the aquarium. I just feed it every day now and then, a couple times a day. It eats a lot. Put the rocks in there too that I have from a different aquarium, but it's doing perfectly good. The the the, the lover livestock don't are not bothered by it. 
I was doing pretty good. I plan to buy some Fiddler Crabs from Beat Company and some, um, possibly get some, um, some, uh, clams from, um, from off of Amazon.com, but that's pretty much all I plan to do right now. I'm still looking for some good feeder fish to feed my livestock. Well, bye.